Now let's do the Lewis structure of sulfuric acid. Again, sulfuric acid has got two kinds of structure, one with an extended octet, one without the extended octet. So before we proceed, we will just calculate the valence electron on sulfuric acid. We have one sulfur with six electrons, four oxygen with 24 electrons and two hydrogen with two electrons. So we have total 32 valence electrons. And uh, with one single sulfur atom, that will be the central atom. So the sulfur will be the central atom in this case. You won't be able to draw the structure with oxygen as the central atom. And uh, sulfur is the central atom. Once you decide on the sulfur uh, central atom, let's draw the skeleton of the molecule. Uh, this has two skeletons, but let's just focus on one of them. The skeleton in which the sulfur has a double bonded oxygen to it. And if you look at carefully into that uh, structure, the valency of sulfur is one, uh, 12. That means it is, uh, is 6 or it has got 12 electrons surrounding it. And when you calculate the lone pairs, you will find that there are 4 lone pairs on each one of the sulfurs. And this is Lewis structure 1. So sulfur has the ability to extend this acid the, because it has a D subshell and in, uh, because of that it can have 12 electrons surrounding it. So when I calculate the formal charge, this structure will, gi will give a formal charge, a net formal charge of 0. So the, sulf the Lewis structure with sulfur double bond O has an extended octet with 12 electrons surrounding sulfur and has got no formal charges on it. So since I, since I keep saying the Lewis structure 1, there should be one more structure. So let us see now what is the second Lewis structure. So now let us look at what is the second Lewis structure. This is the one in which there is no extended octet. So the skeleton of the molecule which is shown over there, you can see that it has got four single bonded oxygen attached to it and two of the oxygen has got six lone pairs, uh, six electrons or uh, three lone pairs and uh, two oxygens have got two lone pairs each or four electrons. So therefore this structure is different from the previous one where you had a sulfur double bond. So let us just calculate the formal charges in this. When you calculate the formal charges, you will find that sulfur has a formal charge of 2 and the 2 oxygen which has got 6 uh, electrons has a formal charge of negative 1. So the net charge on sulfuric acid is actually 0 but individual atom sulfur and 2 oxygen, they have a formal charge. So now this is the structure in which the octet of sulfur is complete that it has got 8 electrons around it. But however, there is a charge on atoms. So now let us uh, sum up what we learned. We have two structures, one with an extended atom, uh, extended octet on sulfur, and but it has no charge on atoms. The other one in which the octet of sulfur is complete, but there is charge on the atoms. So and. Uh, both the molecules are of AB4 type molecule with four atoms surrounding it and the hybridization of, uh, of uh, sulfur is sp3 and uh, electron domain geometry and the molecular geometry both are tetrahedral for both the molecules.